we're very excited and uh, we're, we're feeling like things are starting to get back to normal now to be back in the house. Um, you know, there's still a lot of work to do, but you know, I don't even want to be in those rooms anyways at this point. The rooms are taped off with plastic, empty of all furniture. For Joe Tutroni and his wife, they remain a crime scene. Their little Juliana was nearly killed by a flying granite post, her jaw broken, a vein in her neck severed, but she is one resilient five-year-old. She's home. Um, she's doing great. Uh, you know, she's really upset because she can't go swimming in the pool. So, um, you know, she had a little bit of a fit because uh, all, you know, her siblings are going in the pool. Instead, Juliana got to help dad cut the grass and that made her smile. Dr. Scott Dowd lives nine tenths of a mile from here. Court documents say he has no recollection of the crash. The affidavit states Dowd was going in excess of 75 miles per hour and nearly struck a mother walking with her two children before crashing. Despite the terror, the two tronies say they're here to stay. The outpouring of support has brought in nearly $60,000. This is the place to be. Let's put it that way. This is the place to be. I may put some large boulders over there um, to kind of give myself, put my mind at ease, put my family at ease. Dr. Scott Dowd's set to be arraigned at Rockingham Superior Court in Brentwood August 19th at 1 o'clock. The charging sheet is lengthy and includes five felony counts. We're live in Salem this evening. Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.